Well, I'm pleased and proud uh, uh, to say that I think Europe has probably the best security of operation and reliability in our electricity system. On the other hand, uh, this is the most complex system in the world. Electric power systems of Europe altogether, there is no more complex machinery and no complex machine man-made worldwide. So operating it at high level of security and high level of reliability is really a tremendous task. This task, this duty, is the job of the transmission system operators. Well, as it is really a cornerstone of our society and civilization, electricity uh, uh, interruption or not having electricity whenever it's needed would mean undermining our way of life, undermining our civilization, undermining our society. I don't want to mention usual examples like, you know, elevators uh, stack in high buildings. But just think of coming home on Friday, just before weekend, and then having to start washing the clothes which you were wearing during week because there is no washing machine. Or just think of the hospitals without electricity for rentgens and for all other machinery we use today in modern medicine. And maybe to conclude with equally important, which is our children and education, can you imagine education today without any electronic means, without any IT and so on? It has changed more in the last 10 or 15 years than it has changed in the past 50 years. First of all, in all times, everything was from one hand. The world was integrated, utilities, companies were all together, network operator generation was all in one undertaking. So exchanging energy across borders, operating the system was rather straightforward and really easy to plan task. Now with market, who started about 12, 15 years ago, we have seen the down of the first volatility of exchange of electricity across the borders of our countries, of our networks, as markets wanted, and, net, and not as we might have maybe wanted. So it means that basically the product going from the area with low price to the area of high price, like happens with any other commodity. We as DSOs are in charge of securing this in physics, securing this in reality. And then the second dimension to volatility came maybe seven, eight years ago when the boom in intermittent regeneration of wind and solar power started, where we have now countries in Europe with more than 40% of generation from wind power. We have the installed solar power, which is, for example, six times a peak load of a country like Austria and Europe, etc. So indeed, the way we operate the system have increased massively in terms of volatility and particularly in terms of lower predictability of the flows in the system. It needs to be said that the operational codes existed a uh, long time ago as a contrary, as a difference to the grid connection and market, uh, which uh, are maybe a new uh, development of the past 10 years or so, the operations must have been coordinated in the early 50s when the TSOs of Europe joined together. However, it was different from country, from region, from the, from the part of Europe to another one. Now, we have European Union, we have our common goals. We have the goals to reduce CO2, renewables and so on, which means we have to deal with intermittency, we have to deal with volatility, we have to deal with users of transmission grids in the same way in every corner of Europe. So the major benefit of the operational codes of the pan-European rules how to operate the system will be that every grid user, wherever he or she is, will have the same conditions and will be guaranteed to have the same way and the same standards in operation of the system to which he or she is connected.